went to a party the other night, and he never had went to one of them parties where they played kissing games. Now, I've went to them parties where they play kissing games. Hoo-wee! I went to a party the other night, and there's some old girl, I don't know who she was, she kept on hollering, let's play kissing games, let's play kissing games. She hollered that all during the party. My throat was so sore the next day I couldn't... <laughs> They draw a circle in the middle of the floor and a girl would stand in the middle of the circle and a fella would either have to kiss her or pay a fine. I made $11.34. <laughs> One old boy didn't have no money with him tried to take it out in trading stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Brother went to this party and, and he... <laughs> they... <laughs> I, I, I say, I seen him. He kissed this little old girl. And uh, she was cute, too. She had an hourglass figure, but she made every second count. <laughs> and he kissed her. Come on back home next morning. I said, brother, how you like that kissing? He said, it's a subject I don't know much about, but it's going to be my hobby from now on. <laughs> Law, I ain't been kissed in so long, I forgot whether it's done but drawing in your breath or blowing it out. <laughs> They say kissing spreads germs. I sure have spent a lot of healthy evenings in my life. <laughs> oh, Rodley, Rodley used to say, Bye, Ned Buddy, I got me a brand new car. I said, is it a pretty good car, Rodley? And he said, it's got a good pickup. It picked up a blonde and two redheads last night. <laughs> The first thing I done when I got it, I greased it all over. And I said, why'd you do that, Rodley? He said, so the finance company couldn't get a hold of it. <laughs> I said, how big a car is it, Rodley? He said, well, by Ned Buddy, he'll carry a dozen if they're well acquainted. <laughs> Me. Well, sir, I tell you, though, every once in a while I go to one of these fancy weddings that they have, you know, I like to go. It's, um, I don't, uh, I personally, you know, it looks like to me it's awful unnecessary, a whole lot of what they go through. But, um, oh, this last one I went to, it is pretty as here in Nashville, one of them fancy weddings, you know, when they had the, the bride. Oh, she come down that isle and she looked so happy. I know she was happy. I know how long she'd been after him. <laughs> me and her started about the same time she outrun me. But she got down there to the, right down there to the preacher, and then that bridegroom, oh, he come in there. He looked so pitiful. You know, they said the bride looked stunning. Well, he just looked stunned. <laughs> he looked like another clean shirt of doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's Henry Cannon's story. <laughs> Another one belongs to a friend of mine by the name of Henry R. Cannon. He's the one about the old fella had the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day I said, did you have a nice time? Said, oh, yes. Said, did you get many fine birthday presents? And he said, yes, and I got an awful silly one. I said, what's that? He said, some darn fool give me a pair of monogram pajamas. <laughs> and I said, well, lots of folks wear monogram pajamas. He said, not me. If a feller don't know who he is by the time he gets ready to go to bed, forget it. <laughs> I'm going back to that wedding. <laughs> this wedding, this bride, you know, she looks so sweet, innocent and sweet. And um, the bridegroom, he, <laughs> he come down there and he told her in front of all them folks, and I hear it. He said he's going to give her all the worldly goods he had, and his pappy is sitting by me. He said, oh, there goes Jed Slingshot. <laughs> oh! 